When drawing cylinders, you just have to think that you're looking at the circle, but in isometric. So if we take this circle, we can imagine that it has a, a major axis and a minor max, uh, axis. And because this is a circle, both your major and your minor axis are going to be the same. But if we were to tilt this circle, the major axis would stay the same length, but that minor axis would change. You can see that my fingers, the distance between my fingers are changing there. So first of all, what you want to do is draw your major axis and your minor axis and then ghost and so you want to touch upon the ends of your axis and that's how you draw an ellipse. All right, to go from your ellipse you want to make it into a three-dimensional shape so we're going to make it into a cylinder. You may find it easier to move your paper around so now we're just going to draw the sides on like that and we're also going to draw in a center line as well and then we can join add in our major axis there and we want to add in our minor axis there and we want to repeat the process that we did at the top and join those together And then you have the ellipse at the bottom. And you can see that I've also drawn the bit of the line at the back. That doesn't matter because now I can just go over the lines that I do want in a heavier pencil. And the same at the top. And then you have your cylinder.